Good evening. Six words in an email may have now cost Jennifer Jones Hall her job. Earlier this month, Jennifer Jones Hall sent an email to Student Government Chief of Staff Chris J. Taylor. It addressed the concerns of former Student Government Association President Chloe Anagnos being named most outstanding senior. Many Ball State students said Anagnos didn't deserve the award because she previously owned a Confederate flag. Taylor wanted to acknowledge student complaints about Anagnos' award by sending out a statement on behalf of student government. When Taylor consulted with SGA advisor Jones Hall, she cautioned him not to publish a statement. In that email obtained by Newslink Indiana, Jones Hall said the big four multicultural organizations are not making comments because they are funded through the university, and so is SGA. I would be careful not to bite the hand that feeds you. Taylor sent that exchange to Ball State administrators, including President Paul Ferguson. Kay Bales, vice president of student affairs, said Jones's email was not representative of the school's stance. Our goal is certainly to to be trans, transparent, but but most of all, our job is to be supportive of students. And it is not the university's position to uh, ever uh, threaten the funding of any of our student organizations. Last week, Jones Hall apologized to SGA for her comments. But today, Joan Todd with University Marketing and Communication told WCRD that Jones Hall tenured her resignation effective late Monday and that she would be pursuing other opportunities. Todd couldn't confirm that Jones Hall's resignation was connected to the fallout from her email. Reporting in the newsroom, Cameron Riddle, Newslink, Indiana.